is step three in the basics for ambassador training. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to shorten and customize your link. So um, easiest way to do that is to log into your dashboard. Um, I explained that back in step two. And then from there, we're going to shorten our link. So there's a couple of ways to do that. So one thing I want you to notice is that here's your link right here. The, this link, by default, redirects you to the home page, or it directs you to the home page. So here it says it's copied. So I'll just show you um, in this tab what happens when I paste it and go. As you can see, it takes us to the home page, which um, sometimes is great, but honestly, the best and most effective way to get people to buy stuff is to put an offer or a deal in the link that they're directed to. Put the offer in front of their face and they're way more likely to buy it. Um, and we also have systems in place uh, for retargeting when people visit specific um, like product pages that we can target them with ads. We can target them with ads and then you still get the credit within 30 days of somebody making the purchase, even if we retarget them. So pretty handy stuff there. So let me show you real quick how to um, shorten your link. Go ahead and uh, exit out of that now. <clears throat> so easiest way to do it is to shorten your link. Just click that. And this uses a third party service called Bitly. It's a link shortener. So copy that and you'll notice in fact, I can open that other page that I had. So that's the page that I had open with that same long link. And then here's the short link. I, I put it in here and go to it. And you'll notice that it's the exact same link. So Bitly functions as, or excuse me, Bitly right here, this functions as a third party link shortener, which redirects you to the same page. Super helpful if you don't want to memorize your giant link, um, which brings me uh, to the other way, uh, the easiest way, and what I would suggest that you do if you want to do this is, um, is create a Bitly account and then customize your Bitly links. So I have you know this giant long. <laughs> uh, this link, right? Man, my mind went straight to the go there. And over here, once you create a Bitly account, you can create shortened links that are a lot easier to memorize. And I'll show you that right here. So all you do is create it, paste it, and then this is going to create a shortened link. But right here, you can see you can customize it. And let's just make it super easy to memorize Adam's link. Perfect. Now up here I can just copy it. And here we go. I'll paste it. And the easier way to memorize it is just you can, you can even paste it like that, bit.ly forward slash Adam's link. A lot easier to memorize. And as you can see, these three links are exactly the same. See, I'm going switching between three tabs. It's redirecting me. And then the last helpful tip, actually I have two helpful tips on top of that. So I've got this copy to the clipboard. If I want to see how many people are clicking on this link, Bitly offers a service where you can track how many clicks you're getting. So all you have to do is put a plus, and then it will tell you how many people have clicked it. So nobody's clicked on, on Adam's link yet. In um, the next video, Oh yeah, okay, so that's that's all I wanted to show you now, but in the next uh, video I'm going to show you how to create links to specific 
pages and specific offers. And then uh, after that, I'm going to show you a super helpful trip or trick where you can have your own domain, for example, like adamssharelink.com. And then that, you can forward be, be able, you can give that link to people and then it'll take them to our website where you can still get credit.